I'm I, I'm Shia. Okay. Yeah. I'm Where are you born? Iran? No, I was born in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there's not there is a population, but it's not big yeah. in Afghanistan, I believe. Um, obviously, compared to Sunni sector, it's not, mm. but it's relatively large. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm born and raised here, but obviously I was on a practice here. I uh, when you're young, you don't really you just follow what you're told. It's true. Yeah, and. Um, I looked in Sunset uh -huh. for a while, for at least I'd say four years. Okay. Um, it was convincing okay. enough to a point that okay. okay, this could be the right path. Okay. But then um, obviously at the end of the day we're all Muslims, so that's what I see it as. Um, but then until I realized I can't make up my mind on just one side of uh, the argument. The argument because I didn't know much about Shia. Okay. All I knew is what I was taught, but I was brought up here, so I never went to Shia school. Uh -huh. Like, uh, so your parents are they practicing? Um, they knew enough to teach us. But okay. Yeah, they are quite practicing. Okay. Um, but they didn't know. Like my mom, is in uh, where I'm from in the UK, there's not a Shia mosque. So my mom taught a lot, learned everything from watching videos on YouTube, and the same with my dad. But my dad reads a lot about him. Um, yeah, so I was confused for a while because majority of Muslim. I understand. Yeah, of course, I understand. I understand. Are all Sunni, so uh, I like and I. You know, majority of Muslims in the world as well are Sunni. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yes. But in generally, like yes. my friends are all Sunni, so yes. that didn't have much of my understanding as well. Okay. So until I researched, I was like, no, I can't just decide that this is the right thing. I have to learn about my own belief first. Okay. Can I ask you this question yeah? about your 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 parents or tradition? Because in Shiism, there's different sects. Yeah. Are, is your family like Jafri's twelvers? They're twelvers. Imamis, right? Yeah. Okay. So, th did your parents? What is the teachings that your parents told you about the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu What did they say? Like, what, do they believe what is written in the books? Because you know, the, the Shi'as have books. Yeah. They have Al Kafi. They have Mahd al Faqih. All of these yeah. books, which I know very well, right? Yeah. These books have specific traditions yeah. about the companions. For example, that the companions are these believers. They disbelieve that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Munafiqeen, hypocrites. Yeah. The wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Aisha. She was yeah. an evil woman because she yeah. fought with Ali. She was a. Yeah. Uh, uh, she committed evil things. Yeah. All of these. Things, right? Is that what your parents taught you? Well, I wouldn't say my parents taught me this. Not all my parents taught me is about the Twelvers and follow the. Uh, uh, sorry? Can I hear you? Can you what? I'd like to send my friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I don't know if they. I, I think I prefer not. Huh? Just because they're not going to be comfortable. I prefer not. Okay, okay. Okay, just like okay. Yes, well, just continue. Sorry, he's just uh, asking a question. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they come, they do. Uh, like, yeah, okay. that's fine. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes. Uh, where was I going? We're no, talking I, about the Twelvers uh, and this and that. My yeah. parents, they all talk, They just taught me about like the mom and the practice of the imams and obviously what we believe is everything that the imams have done uh -huh. what we, well majority of us believe they're infallible uh -huh. um, so and like just follow the practices and what they but what about sahaba and the, the wives of the prophet they, mm. they didn't really speak well they didn't tell me anything because they didn't okay. know much themselves okay yeah that makes sense my parents came from village so uh -huh. the teachings in the village is not as uh -huh. advanced as you came to see until we moved here my mom didn't go to like Islamic school I never went okay what about things like saying yeah Ali and, and asking Ali for help on all these That's, different things. I'll have to do you want a copy of the Quran? Yes, please. Yeah. yeah, take a copy, take the bag and go. Yes, so no much. problem. Yes. Um, I don't know if you're asking what, that, what my parents told me or what they actually believe in this what Shia Islam is. Uh, what you know of Shiaism, because you say, yeah. no, don't worry. Yeah. What you know of Shiaism, basically. Yeah. From what oh, you know that of Shiaism. We don't ask him all for help. That's wrong. Okay, so you believe that's, that's wrong? That's Because there are many Shias who do, right? Well, that's the same with Sunni. It's like there's a lot of extremists. Mm. So you think, I, I don't want to label anyone, but majority that the I, other friends, the ISIS, they came to me. This is about. Can I, I explain what you're saying, but, yeah. but uh, I, I, sorry, I understand what you're saying, yeah. but, but there's a differentiation there. Yeah. I'll tell you the differentiation is the following. Yeah. Is what
reliable people that we should take information from? I mean, if you're talking about information, where we gain the from Knowledge. Can talk, yeah, the knowledge, it, some of them come from Sahih Muslim. Yeah, like Sahih Muslim or Bukhari or any, any book. But I'm saying, yeah. do you think that they, they were transmitting information reliably? Meaning that they actually transmitted what the Prophet said. They didn't lie, they didn't fabricate and make up things. Uh, from what I read, read from the Sahih Muslim, it's proven that they have fabricated. Okay, the fabricating or? Uh, I, but they changed the teeth, like basically, like, I don't know, there's a specific uh, hadith, um, I don't know the number, it's somewhere in my phone that um, uh, it was a message from, it was a, I don't even really know, it said something like, oh, the prophet of Allah, only you knew what your companions changed after you. Okay, but know. yeah, that hadith is complete. So no, I'm, not, I'm not referring, but I'm saying that there were people that, yes. that it's, it's possible. You know, no, yeah, uh, let me answer, let me yeah. answer what that, the scholars have explained that. And, and yeah. this is, this is the thing, you, you got, this is what I'm yeah. saying, you got people in the Shia tra yeah. tradition that will use hadith even though they don't accept Sahih Muslim or Bukhari right but they will use a hadith there and they will miss explain the hadith like you were just saying which is a, a wrong explanation of it and then they will say because they don't believe in Bukhari Muslim as you know right they don't accept these books yeah. to be authentic yeah. but they use a hadith there for some reason yeah. and then they say that look this hadith means this and this is why the companion yeah. this is in the day of judgment where the Prophet oh, will yeah, be the on the Houd the I know the, uh, the hadith yeah, very well yeah. the Prophet yeah. will be on the Houd the Houd yeah. if yeah. you drink you're never going to be thirsty again yeah. right then the the, the Prophet will say, my, my companions, Sahabi, yeah. come. And then the angels will say, no, they're yeah. not going to come because yeah. you do not know what they did after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then how do scholars explain that? Explain that there was a, a group of people, many people who apostated after the Prophet yeah. There's something called Hurub al okay. Wars which happened against apostates, yeah. specifically after the death of yeah. the Prophet Because yeah. when the Prophet died, it was a shock for many people. Right. There was many munafiqeen, hypocrites, among yeah. the Muslims. So when he died, it was the opportunity for them okay. to follow people like Musaylam al kadhab and all of those, right. those people. So this is what the hadith is referring yeah. to. Those people who apostated, who left Islam after yeah. the death of the Prophet yeah. Isa, But who actually spread Islam to Iraq or spread Islam yeah. to uh, uh, Afghanistan yeah. or spread yeah. Islam to, to uh, Iran? Yeah. Where the, the Sahaba, the companions, right? Yeah. So th those, without those people, you wouldn't know Islam, I wouldn't know Islam. Yeah. They wouldn't be Muslims on earth today, right? Yeah. If those people were not truly people who held yeah. Islam yeah. Of high, to be of high regard yeah. and truly believed in this religion, yeah. they would not have spread it from, you know, Morocco to China. You know? They would not have... <laughs> Have done that, right? Of course. Yes. It's the same thing. Like, I'm just talking about like uh, a normal scenario where I could go and spread the word. That's just normal. That's just. No, no, but I was just answering. I was just answering the point you made about Sahih Muslim. Do you have anything else in mind which you think they were not oh, transmitting that's... reliably? Okay. Um, Ghadir Khum. What do you know about that? Oh. You don't have a problem with Ghadir Khum. Okay. So. Man kuntu, man ka, man kuntu maula, fa hada Ali yeah. maula. We don't have a what, problem. What does maula translate to you? In the Arabic language, or according to the Shi'as, because the Arabic. Because no, there's two uh, meanings generally in, uh, in both. Uh, there's two meanings: there's a friend and there's a leadership. Like uh, ally as well. There's ally as well. Yeah. So what do you? So we see concept, we yeah. because there's a whole holistic concept yeah. concept behind yeah. it. That there were that there were some people, some companions yeah. that had an issue with Ali radiallahu anhu, yeah. and we believe that is the reason the Prophet yeah. Ali yeah. said, "Man yeah. kuntu maula fa hadali maula." Yeah. Meaning, who is a uh, who is an ally of me has to be an ally of Ali. Who yeah. is a friend of me has to be a friend of Ali. Right. But the thing is, whatever way, way you want to take it, yeah. right? If you take that hadith, if you want to accept that hadith, the Prophet ﷺ, who did he make pray after him when the Prophet ﷺ was, was sick? When the Prophet ﷺ was sick yeah. and he couldn't lead the believers, he put Abu Bakr okay. to lead the believers. Also, the Prophet ﷺ, a woman, an old woman came to him. Okay. She said to him, do you know what I'm saying? Or, yeah, or you remember it before? Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Anyways, she, he, she said, okay, okay, if you're not here, who should I come to? You know these things, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so you cannot take one thing. Yeah, uh, of course, 100%. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, like I said, I was very thinking into Sunni Islam because I genuinely believe, okay, because now I'm, I'm very happy to be the Shia. I've discovered, I've learned a lot uh -huh. through my, my journey of uh, time learning about Sunni Islam. Um, I don't so let me understand, you're saying you consider yourself Shia now. What do you, what do you consider yourself now? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you consider yourself yeah, this is what I'm asking you. What is your view on the Sahaba? You didn't give me a view. Oh, sorry. I think the conversation changed. So oh, no, no, it's okay. I'm just uh, reminding okay. you. It's okay. Um, I have no personal opinion. I, from what other Shia believes, that they've done certain things that we don't what, agree Okay, were they yeah. believers or kuffar? I have never ever in my life called them a kuffar. Of, of, like, no, no, I, 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 
and I, I, believe I, I that they believe because they, are, they believe in Allah. That's <laughs> what she said. my knowledge, but I know that they have done things to the Prophet and his family. That, but I would, I've never. It's one of two them. things, right? It's one of two yeah. things. They are either good, righteous people yeah. or they're but evil I people. I wouldn't. They were the best people to the Prophet and his family because the same way you br you brought. So up, they were evil people. Okay, okay that doesn't mean that doesn't make them evil. Uh, I'm just no, trying to understand you. No, know, because you try to put. Uh, like I do not believe that they're actual evil people. Okay. But I, I don't think they were they were the nicest people to Prophet and his family. So then that means they were not good people. Yeah, but that's because they're evil. Like they can be a bad person, not, not evil. Evil is a far more worse. Okay, it's the same. Okay, this is semantic sound, but it's okay. No, no, no let's really. okay. Let, let, we take your view. Okay. Yeah. They're not so good people, or they're yeah. not even I they're not so good. They're the best people. The okay, stuff. they're not the best people. Okay. Yeah. Are not so good people or bad people or yeah. whatever term you want to use? Yeah. Do these people enter paradise? Okay, is Allah pleased with... But listen, with that Allah can forget, I don't... No, no I, I'll, I'll come, I'll come, yeah. step by step, right? Is Allah going to be pleased with people who are evil against the, the wives and the family of the Prophet? Uh, obviously not. He's not going to be pleased with them, yeah. isn't it? Would Allah tell us to follow them? And learn from them uh, and, and do what they do? No, but that depends on the... That's the same way that I... No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm asking you now something, because look, Allah uh, no. is a merciful God. Yeah. He's not He's not going to misguide us, tell yeah. us, follow something, who, okay. someone who is bad, right? 100%. He can only tell you, follow someone yeah. who's good okay so everything you just said contradicts the Quran and I'll tell you why here's the Quran okay. now what does the Quran say about the Sahaba okay. but that's your that's your translation of the Quran do you speak Arabic I'll tell you the verse in Arabic but if you I, don't I, speak no, Arabic no, can I help you there no no but the, okay for instance there's a verse in the Quran yeah. do you have your own Shia translation maybe okay, we can read from no, it there's two translations yeah because you translate more no no can, can you give me your your, your, your translation that I, you trust so what verse are you, I don't I, so if you bring up the verse that's fine but okay. no no because because we cannot move forward if you're, if you're gonna doubt the fact that I'm telling you the verses because the thing is if you've got a Quran that you trust that you think is reliable bring it up and then I'll show you the verses there I, I don't have a, a, a Quran but I know this you so, translate it so when I read now yeah are you gonna accept it or are you, gonna, or are you not I, gonna accept no, it I will, I will I will listen to it doesn't mean I will accept it or deny it no, I, but, but, I have to look into it myself okay what's your name um, okay you don't have to say yeah, name it's better now but look the point is this yeah the Quran is in Arabic language. Um, said, yeah. It is preserved. Yep. Meaning it's objective. Meaning it's not based on what I think it says or what you think it says. The but Quran, the, I'm just trying to yeah. make a very important yeah. point. The Quran is objectively a text that says certain things. Yeah. It doesn't matter, it, irrelevant of my opinion or your opinion, yeah. it says certain things. Yeah. And the Arabic language is preserved. Yeah. There's classical dictionaries, right? Yeah. It's Arab ma'al Quran. There's many yeah. classical dictionaries which defines these words. So I cannot today come up and create a different meaning of yeah. a word, right? Everything is preserved, right? Yeah. So now, when, I, when I'm reading the Quran, I can read for you word for word but if you don't understand Arabic and you refuse translation then obviously I, I cannot I okay so okay I will look okay I'll go word for word with yeah. you okay look. I'm not gonna refuse or accept <laughs> okay. I would just listen and learn. That's this sounds funny, isn't it? I'm not going to refuse or accept. Yeah, okay. I would just learn. Okay, I'll read for you. Okay. okay. I don't have to accept on the spot or if you reject on the spot. No, no, but that's why I said you can bring your own translation that you trust okay. because that way you cannot say I'm not going to accept it. Okay. okay but but if, if you're sincere, actually, if you're sincere, yeah. you would find the translation that you accept and then we will use it both of us because that way you cannot say, oh, that, that is the incorrect translation. That's why I said bring your own. Okay. No, if you do, see, do you see what I'm saying? Right? No, I know what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Allah just says on, on the first foreigners among the Muhajirun and the Ansar. Okay. Sabaqa means someone preceded someone else. Yep. The first foreigner, right? Yep. Al awaluna, awal is from awal yep. first, right? Al awaluna, min al muhajiran, from, min is from. Yep. Al muhajirin and Ansar is very well known. Muhajirin are those who did hijrah yep. with the Prophet. Yep. And Ansar are those who supported the Prophet yep. when he did migration. Yep. All of them were Sahaba. Yep. Right or wrong? Historically. Yeah, yeah. These are facts. Okay. So Allah is talking about the Sahaba. Yep. Okay, what does he say? And those who follow them. So Allah is talking about those who follow them. So yeah. we follow them. Yeah. Ahl Sunnah, right? Yeah. Shia don't follow them. Okay. Correct? Yeah. You agree so far? Yeah. Okay, what does Allah says? Okay. And those who follow them. Yeah. Okay? Then Allah Azza wa says, Radiyallahu anhum wa radu an. What does that mean? Allah is pleased. You know, Radiyallahu an. Yeah. Allah is pleased with them. And yeah. they are pleased with Him. Yeah. And He prepared for them Jannat. Paradise, right? Tajiri tahtah al-anhar. Rivers flow beneath. Yeah. Right? ذلك الفوز العظيم. This is the great reward or the great uh, uh, like victory. Okay. This is what the Quran says. Yeah. So the Quran is completely opposing everything you just said because you said we said if they're not so good people, yeah. Allah cannot be pleased with them. Yeah. Allah cannot tell us to follow them, and they cannot be people who, who are going to go to paradise. Yeah. This is just one verse, and there's many verses I'm going to show yeah. you. So, how do you understand that? 
Oh, are you asking me? Yeah. Oh. This is the Quran. So yeah, tell me how I they understand said, it. Uh, yeah, whatever you said, I agree. Okay. Like, yeah, that, so you agree? Uh -huh. I have to look into it myself. I'll take the verse and look into it myself. Excellent. Okay. But the same way, I can talk about the Wali of Imam Ali, alayhi salam, but No, no, I'll tell you why you can't. Because the, the, this the difference. Is the Quran. No, no, no. The same way, because that you're. No, 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 uh, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. I thought yeah. you meant something else. I thought you were talking about hadith, right? No, no, no. Look, yeah. this is the thing that where every Shia cannot escape. And what, uh, oh, can escape. No, no, not you. I'm saying yeah. every Shia. I'm not referring yeah. to you. By the way. Don't take things personally. I'm not trying to no, trap you or anything like that, right? Yeah. I'm saying the things where no Shia can escape is yeah. we simply say, you and us, we believe in the Quran. So you and us, we use the Quran as evidence. Yeah. You don't accept my hadith, I don't accept your hadith. Yeah. So don't come and say your hadith says, I'm not going to come and say your hadith says, yeah. because I can open your books and tell you, they say very different things, but yeah. I, I don't waste time there. Like I say, us. look, yeah, I yeah. say we both agree on the Quran. So yeah. let's use the Quran. First now I brought um, first evidence from the Quran. Okay. okay, I'll bring my second evidence from the Quran. Yeah. I'll bring you a few verses okay. now. Sorry, one second. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Surah Al Hadid. Okay. okay, chapter 57 of the Quran. Allah Azza wa is saying, verse 10. Yeah? Yeah. And why would you not spend in the cause of Allah? Yeah. And the mirath, the inheritance of the heavens and earth, is for Allah Azza wa Jal, right? Those who spent before the Fath, before the conquest, are not equal. لا يستوي. Yeah? With those who did afterwards. So Allah is saying the companions who spent and fought with the Prophet and protected him, the ones that Shia curse, that were protecting the Prophet, they do, this is true. The ones that protected the Prophet and yeah. aiding the Prophet. In the yeah. beginning of his mission, right? Yeah. Allah is saying those ones are not equal to those who came after the conquest because Muslims started having power yeah. after the conquest of Mecca. So Allah is saying they're not equal in reward, right? And then Allah says, And both of them, Allah has promised the greatest reward. Yeah. Al Husna in Arabic means the greatest reward. What is the greatest reward? So Allah is saying He promised all the companions, the ones who were before conquest and the ones after the conquest, all of them. Yeah. Allah has promised all of them al-Husna. Yeah. So how do you understand that? I'm just going to agree. I'm not agree. So what's the way of me telling you that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't just be like, yeah, I believe it. Now so okay, I'll, I'll save you time. Look, I can give you now 10, 20 verses like this in the Quran. Allah Azza says, uh, Muhammad yeah. Rasulullah, yeah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, yeah. and those yeah. with him. Yeah. Yeah. Harsh with the disbelievers, yeah. merciful amongst okay. each other. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then Allah goes on to, to say the description in the Torah and Injil right. out of praise. Allah also says, uh, Allah is pleased with the believers in the bay'ah when they were doing bay'ah with you under the tree. All of these verses are about the companions, right? So all of them are praising the companions, saying that they will have paradise, saying that Allah is pleased with them, right? And saying we should follow them. Everything I just showed you right now. Now, from your perspective now, the difference between a Sunni and Shia is the 12 Imams. Yeah. Right? And the infallibility of the 12 Imams and this yeah. and that, I'm following Ahlul Bayt. Yeah. Show me that in the Quran. Go ahead. Pull all the verses that you want to pull. Huh? I'm saying, oh, pull all the verses up, okay. it's okay. No, I'll pull one, one that will talk about the Waliyat of Imam Ali. Go ahead, please do. But not now, brother. If no, you wait, inshallah. About the copies. Yeah. Yes. You have a rush, I hope. I have, but I'll, I'll give it to you once we're done, inshallah. Yeah? Yeah. While she gets the verse, actually. There you go, yeah? Thank you. No problem. Uh, 555. Yes. Okay. Where is Ali there? So who, who gave zakat when they were First, I'm asking you a question. You said you will bring a verse where yeah. it says about the wilaya of Ali. Yeah. Ali's name is not in the verse. It says, I'll tell you word for word. Look, because and I'll tell you something that, that would be very interesting yeah. for you. I know this Quran, alhamdulillah, from beginning to end. Yeah, yeah. There's no name of Ali in the Quran, from beginning yeah. to end, right? Yeah. Just like there is no name of Abu Bakr or Umar, exactly. I'm not, that's not, but you claim that there is wilaya for Ali. So we, we need no, to find I it, right? I say his name is going to be mentioned. The same way you just said, I'm not, obviously Muhammad's name is not mentioned. The, the whole Quran. No, no, but the verse you brought has nothing to do with what you're saying. I'll tell you why. Is can I tell you, uh, step by step, <laughs> I'll read it for you. No, no, I'll read it for you in Arabic. You can read it to me, but it's your translation. 
transition. It's not my transition. Okay, tell me. Again, do you remember what I said in the beginning of the discussion? I mean, your transition by like the Sunni transition of that, because that's the one we made. Do you remember what I said to you in the beginning of the discussion? There's a difference between the fsir, which okay. is exegesis, which what you're referring to, which is to uh, get your interpretation and insert it into the text. That's not, that's not it. No, no. Now you think, you think your transition is the right way. Can I finish? Is it okay yeah, what sorry, I'm saying? I'm, I'm not I'm still talking about something different. I'm yeah. saying you're referring to something called tafsir. What you're referring to is tafsir. Okay. Translation is different. Translation yeah. is a word for word, uh, changing the word from Arabic into English. Yeah. This has no, I'm not adding anything there. I'm, I'm just not. translating the words. So when you say my translation, look, no, I, I told you from tafsir, the beginning. Sorry, that's what I meant. No, again, but this is a problem. Yeah. That's why I told you that's not my tafsir. And I said to you from the beginning, bring your own, correct or no? I said, bring your own yeah. translation that you trust. Yeah. Because when I tell you mine, you're not going to accept yeah. it. So like, what yeah. can I do for you? Look, I said to you in Arabic, look, it's not much, I'm an Arab, like this is my language. Yeah. I know what the Quran says, yeah. right? Yeah. You do not speak Arabic, you said. Right? Yeah, okay, I'm so when I'm telling you the Quran is saying this, I'm translating for you word for word. I'm just telling, not telling you, just trust me, like right? Allah Azza says in, in this verse, innama, innama, yeah. indeed, wali yukum, wali, wali, your wali, Allahu, Allah, it's very clear, right? Yeah. Wa rasuluhu, and his messenger, it's very clear. Yeah. Wa amanu, and those who believe. Alladheena, wa alladheena amanu, that's what it says. Alladheena yuqimuna salata, those who establish the salah. And give the zakah, yeah. and they are prostrating. This is literally what the Quran says, word yeah. for word. Right or wrong? Right. This is my translation of the Quran. That's, that's the exact translation. I know. This is what you just said. You yeah. know. I'm not look. This is. Yeah. I know what the Quran says. I'm not bringing my own things yeah. from my pocket. This is literally what it says. So, so what is Ali there? I mean, like you're, that's what you're like what you, how, what you, ta- how, what you, how you take that translation. This is what the Arabic says. Okay. Irrelevant of I, my opinions. This is yeah. objective is what the Quran is saying. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not adding anything so, there. Uh, to break it down to you, okay, it's mentioned Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's mentioned as peace be upon him, and then it mentioned those like who believers and those who pay zakat and sujud, right? No, it says, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ وَهُمْ رَاكِعُونَ The believers yeah. that, that give the zakah and establish the prayer, and it says, وَهُمْ رَاكِعُونَ And they're kneeling down or prostrate. Yeah. Yes. Where's Ali there? I'm, I'm still waiting for following the Al Bayt or the Imams. Or... Like, okay, now I'm going to. So how we translate it? What, how no we... translations. Look, when no I get. No translations, sorry. How we Quran. take that verse is. And those who um, are in prostration and. I know how we took that verse. Trust me. I know exactly so what your book says. The only person that's given zakat in prostration um, is Imam al Th- That is wrong, first, factually, because we reject this narration that you have. Reject, and yeah. No, no, no. Why did I say it to you from the beginning and you said you agree? We're not going to go to a hadith, my hadith and your hadith. We're going to use the Quran. You see the difference between, yeah. look, look. You see the difference between Ahl Sunnah and anyone else is the fact is we stick to the Quran. Why do we stick to the Quran? Is because I know that if you don't stick to the Quran, you go somewhere else, you keep bringing different things, we'll go everywhere. Yeah. But when you stick to the Quran, you have no foundation. Yeah. I'm not saying this to demean you or anything, but that's the no, truth. I, I, look, I when you, the verse here has nothing about Ali. Now, your interpretation from your books is irrelevant because I can bring an interpretation from another book and then you're not going to accept it. Right, yeah. for the hadith from, from our tradition. So now um, let me explain to you why it does not make sense. First, I said to you, let's accept this interpretation, yeah. this understanding. Let's yeah. take it. There's no problem. If I now give zakah when I'm prostrating, does this verse include me? That, do I become the leader of the Muslims? Do I become masum? Well, are we talking about the times of the prophet? No. The, where is the time of the first? Now you're adding things not even in the narration you mentioned. This is not here in the no, verse. I'm talking about the times of when I put up. No, I no. Is this verse up? general? Huh? Is this verse general or specific? It's general. This is where Ladina Amanu is group. It's not one person. No, no, this verse here. The whole Quran is general. Sister, look, you're not being sincere. The verse here says, Well, Ladina Amanu, those who believe, it's not one person. Yeah. It's referring to all the believers. Yeah. So I'm a believer, alhamdulillah. I believe in Allah and His yeah, Messenger. Yeah. If I prostrate now and I give zakah, does that mean I become now the leader of the Muslims? I'm Masu. Well, no, because I'm referring to completely different things. No, but you talk Okay, about so, so, so from the same yeah. understanding, I'll tell you Ali is not the same thing. What makes Ali, what makes Ali radiallahu an, a, a, a person who is now the leader based on this verse, and if I do the same thing and I'm a believer and the verse includes me, I'm not a leader. Sorry. What's the difference? So you agree, look, this verse doesn't help you. It doesn't help you because it's a general verse. And it can be, as I said, it can be applied to all the believers because it's Walladin Amanu. Doesn't say Ali, it doesn't specific yeah. specify on one person. Yeah. What else? I'm waiting. Sorry. 
And then, the thing is, is, is the majority of my friends, they're everywhere. Like, it's on my TikTok, it's on my Twitter, it's like, it, on TikTok. I wasn't prepared to come here and have a discussion with you. I'm not, did I know you're coming here today? Yeah, but <laughs> I was just like standing at you guys came. Yeah, just... but you said you know the crown of my heart and I don't. Uh, but that's, that's, that's really... something I take with me everywhere. Yeah, I don't need exactly. to be prepared. So I, no, I, if I'm gonna have a conversation like this, I'd rather be prepared and come. You just come in and be like, okay, give me another verse. So I have, you have to give me time to find it. That's what I'm saying, it's everywhere. No, no, you can find it now. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, I'll wait for you. I'm, I'm not putting you in the spot. Oh. You can find it wherever you want. It's okay. Do you want a copy or something? Yeah. Yeah, take the copy. Take. Genuinely free. Well. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Take it. English, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no problem. My pleasure. Yeah, take it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely, no problem. No problem. Ah, you should. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. No problem. What do you think so far? You know, I'm gonna tell you and your friend now. <laughs> you don't have to say anything because I know she'll probably be like, she's not gonna like. But this is the thing, look. No, 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 it's okay. Keep, I'm just talking to her. Uh, listen, one thing about me, I love to learn. I know so much, I know enough. No, I wouldn't say enough, but enough to an extent that um, I, I lived with. Um, I what Oh my god. You know when you go to Islamic school and finish it, what's that? Yeah. Oh, do you come as a girl? Uh, yeah, I, I don't agree with this terminology, but they use it, they use it in, no, in the, a, a, Agents of Continent. You're talking about Alima, this is the term they use, yeah? yeah? I don't agree with this terminology, it's completely incorrect and un, yeah, inaccurate yeah. and un, un Islamic, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yes. so uh, she was uh, taught like the plant from the front. I understand what you're saying. So I lived with her for at least three years, so. I understand. So we've spoken about Islamism a lot, so. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but this is the thing, like, I'm not them and they're not me. No, right? Sorry, so, my point was that um, one thing about me is I love Shad. You can tell her, it's something I would probably learn as well, whatever. No, no, but the thing is, I don't want to tell her something and then I feel like, no, I was just asking her what do you think about the conversation. Yeah. Of course, she's not going to be on my side, maybe you would be upset if she said something. Oh, 100% I would. No, no, of course. Thing. It's okay, no problem. But I, what, did you find any other verses? Oh, no, I'm still looking. Emotional, getting emotional uh, um, in this conversation is not my, it's not my thing. That's good. I know you are actually, yes, yeah, you're actually so, very, very reasonable, I would say. Yeah. So that's why I ask Allah to guide you. <laughs> I'm guided on Alhamdulillah. And me as well, to guide yeah, us all, I mean, of course. I mean. uh, I'm really sorry. Do you know why you're not finding? No, 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 this is what it is. Like okay. I said, it's on my Twitter, okay. on my TikTok, okay. on my messages. Let me ask you a question, okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, listen, I can't... Can I ask you a question? Yeah, 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 okay. Where is the Where is following the 12 Imams in the Quran? Take a copy. Is it, is it in English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Unfortunately, I do not know the Quran from back to back. So I am saying to you, fr from beginning to end, yeah. you don't need to take my word for it. You can Google if you if you say that there I are verses. I would love to learn, but I would like to, yeah, carry on. No, no, the, the claim I was just going to make is there is no such thing as following the 12 Imams in the Quran from beginning yeah. to end. Yeah. And if you disagree, there's Google there that doesn't lie. So if there's a verse, you just Google where it's following the 12 Imams in the Quran, it will pop up, right? Yeah. And then you can call me a liar and say, look, no, 12 Imams are there. Call anyone lie. That's your no, no, I could be lying, isn't it? Because no. you don't trust my translation. No, they, <laughs> I could, they, could they, be lying. You could be lying, whatever, but then at the same time, I would never call you a liar. Because I could if be I'm a liar, I'm a liar. But the yeah. thing is, that could be your belief. Would so. you like to re to research, find the twelve Imams in the Quran, or do you know that they're not there already? I mean, I could. Uh, I don't. I know. I don't want to research. I would, like I said, I'm not prepared. Okay. So okay, no problem. Okay, I'll tell you then. Okay. okay. So there is no such thing as following the twelve Imams in the Quran. But there is. And oh, Ahlul Bayt, you wanna say? This is the thing. You know how it's it gonna turn for you. No, you know? no, it's not. It's okay. Oh, go ahead. For me. I'm yes. very, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go back to Hadith and you're not going to want to talk about this. No, no. I'm asking about the Quran now. Then we can move on to so other I'm, things. I'm just going to bring up the uh, for the Quran and my Ahlul Bayt and you'll never go straight. Hadith. Okay, I, I agree. So let's start with the Quran. Where is the Quran here? 
the Quran, the, the, the Prophet. Look, look, let's accept the hadith. Let's accept the hadith. Look, look. Can we can we investigate the hadith? Right? The hadith says, "Alaykum." It says, or I, I don't know. It depends on your wording, the wording that you want to use. But it says, "Kitabullah" first. Yeah. Okay. So we start yeah. with Kitabullah, like the Prophet said. Yeah. We are now doing with Kitabullah, right? We open Kitabullah. What does Kitabullah tell us? Follow the the, the Sahaba, the righteous people. The, the Allah is pleased with them. They're gonna go to paradise. Yeah. He tell us about the wives of the Prophet. That some Shias call like uh, committed adultery and this and that, or fornication, or whatever it is. Allah tells us that the, the, it is our mothers, and the, and the wives of the Prophet Islam are their mothers. Okay, so when I follow the Quran, Ahlul Bayt, I don't find them there. Uh, I, look, I try to look 12 Imams, it's not there. So when I listen to the hadith you just brought, it leads me straight away to, to Sunnism. Why is it there that I said that is not true? I, I Give me rationality now. What, what is it that I said that is not true? It literally just makes sense. I, I it makes sense to follow Ahlul Bayt and the Quran. No, 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 look, do you think Ahlul Sunnah don't follow Ahlul Bayt? Of course, but can I, okay. Do you understand one thing? Look, no. we consider Ali no. radiallahu anhu from the Sahaba, he's someone yeah. to follow. This verse that I mentioned to you, we yeah. said it includes him. The, the uh, uh, Fatima is the daughter of the Prophet Hassan yeah. and Hussain are the, the yeah, masters yeah. of Ahlul Jannah. We have no problem with the, with the yeah. companions of the Prophet Hassan or Ahlul Bayt. You guys have a problem with the Sahaba, that's the difference. So the difference between Ahlul Sunnah and the Shia is the Shia have a problem with the companions, yeah. while Ahlul Sunnah do not have a problem with Ahlul Bayt. In fact, if you open Al Bukhari, you find a whole chapter about the, the uh, Fadail Ali, yeah. the Fadail, the, the praiseworthy attributes of, of Ali. Yeah, you will see the people in the books of the seerah, they start with Ahlul Bayt, talking about them first, talking yeah. about their virtues. If Ahlul Sunnah had any issues with Ahlul Bayt, because you're talking about follow Ahlul Bayt, yeah. we agree with that. But there's a difference now. You think something is a part of Aqeedah, part of your fundamental creed, is that the differentiates Ahlul Sunnah and, 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 and uh, the Shia, then it should be in the Quran. Every every article of faith or creed that Muslims believe in, Ahlul yeah. Sunnah, I can get it to you from the Quran. Okay. No, no, that's fine. Um, you're talking about uh, what did you just mention about the hadith of how? No, I said. No, I'm asking about the Quran first. Once, oh. once we do that, then we can move into the hadith, right? I'm saying now. Do you agree with me now? The Quran no, does not follow. does not say anything from what you know right now because you, you're not recollecting anything, and I'm making a claim that isn't. There is nothing about the twelve imams. Even following Ahlul Bayt, even following Ahlul Bayt is not there. So now the verse that mentions Ahlul Bayt, which actually so, referring. Uh, what's yeah. what's uh, what like Sunnah and had, had, Hadith. Had, sorry, yeah, the Sunnah and the Hadith. So where did you get from there? Because you, you, you just don't want to talk about it completely. No, no, I want you to agree with me first that this book is not in your support. It's in my support. <laughs> If, you, if you're not sincere enough to admit that, no, I cannot move forward. No, no, no. The thing is, you know the Quran better than me. You are an Arabic speaker. It's irrelevant. You have yeah. Google. I, I have Google. Knows yeah. probably, Google knows, knows more than me, you know? Yeah. So if you, if you search, yeah, you probably yeah. have more information yeah, yeah. there. Uh, I'm not as smart as Google, yeah. you know? No, but you're yes. smarter than me. In terms uh, of no, the I don't Quran. think so. Okay. In terms of, oh, fair enough. Okay. Uh, I don't know you don't know me, so I no, cannot judge you. Yes. I'm basing this on the fact that you know the Quran from uh, front to the back, and I don't. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, that I can't like fight this case because you bringing me uh, this again. It's, it's you know the thing is this. You agree with me. Look, you agree with me, sister. You came with the other sister. I, I completely did not know you're coming today. Not so when you say someone is not. Coming. No, no, no. I when you say someone is not prepared, if you're coming to the person, then it should be the other way around. I'm the one who should I'm be saying I'm not prepared because you came for me. You know, yeah, yeah, should I, be the other way around. If you're coming from my mind, obviously, if someone is prepared to come to someone to talk about something, but even look, even if you say you're not prepared for a conversation. No, I said I was I'm not prepared to have the hadiths. I do not have the sorry, the verses of the Quran actually saved in order. I should actually do that because I have this conversation. Shouldn't you know your beliefs? Oh, I do. I don't know the Quran of the, of my own. No, no, your beliefs, the, the verses that support your beliefs. I don't know the chapters. No, no, the verses. Tell me the verses. I'll tell you in which chapter I, they are. Like I said, I, I don't want to say a word or something that it will. No, no, no. Quote count. them in, in the, with meaning and I'll tell you the verse. No, no problem. I, Go I'm ahead. not going to. I'm not going to because I. I yeah. I'd rather not okay. to myself. But, okay, not. look, sister, wallahi, I, I'm honestly telling you this out of wallahi care. That I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide you, sister. Look, be sincere with yourself. I know you know that what you're saying does not make sense. You know that there is no evidences that you're finding there. You know that, look, I understand, look, you're born in a Shia society. You want to follow that specific no, that's thing. that's not the case. The, okay. I just, I, the first thing I told you is I studied Sunnism for three If you did, you would know what I told you from the beginning. You would know these things yeah, that I told I, you. I do. No, no, I, but you, like, in terms of the Quran, but I knew enough about the Sahaba. So how did you study four years Sunni uh, and you didn't study the Quran? No, as in... <laughs> 
I found my like the. Uh, Anyways, okay, okay. Yeah. Tell me, do you have any other questions for me? Because I, I was gonna speak to you about other things, but honestly, it's gonna have my mind now. Okay, so halas. Yeah. Okay, yeah, halas. You wanna change it no to problem. something else? We we'll get from one thing to another. I didn't change to anything, sister. I no, said, I said to you, look. That, first, I started. No, with, okay, go ahead. Talk about one thing, and then it would go back to the Quran, and then it was like you were talking about deep, and I wanted to make. Yeah, that's. We why. started in the beginning of the conversation, agreeing that we both to, yeah. that we both agree on the Quran, and yeah, you yeah. agreed and affirmed yeah. that, right? Therefore, I didn't go anywhere. I would stick to the Quran. You were the one who was trying to go to the Hadith. <laughs> so, so that wasn't my point. No, that's my point. I'm making. Okay, but that's not what I meant. Okay, yeah. خلاص خير. If you, if unless you got any other questions, you know, I don't know how else can I help. I can help you with you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alhamdulillah. Yes, go ahead. Um, It was the Wali of Muhammad Ali but we're not going to agree on that, so... It was what? Wali of Muhammad Ali but we're just not going to agree on that. Yeah, uh, look, even the idea of infallibility, is it there in the Quran? Can you find it? <laughs> it's not there. Okay, that's fine. خلاص. So if, look, the difference. I'm gonna finish with this, and then inshallah you can go if you like. Look, but it's very simple. The difference between Sunni and Shias are the following. The following, the specifically, specifically the Jafaris, the 12 members, right? They believe in the 12 Imams. You say, look, the Quran does not talk about the 12 Imams. They believe the in Wilaya of Ali that he's infallible and you need to follow, and he's appointed divinely appointed by Allah. It's not in the Quran. They say you need to follow Ahlul Bayt. It is not in the Quran. The second difference now, this is the affirmative difference. Now the the other types of differences is that they are against the companions. Allah praises the companions, says we need to follow them, says he's pleased with them, he says he prepared for them paradise, right? Uh, they, they are against the wife of the Prophet Allah Allah calls her the mother of the believers, your mother and my mother and every believer's mother, right? So everything that we see as a difference between the Sunni and, and Shias, the Quran completely dismantles it and it is on the side of Ahl Sunnah. Now I cannot help you more than this. Okay, sorry, uh, I just remembered one thing. The Walid ibn Muhammad alayhi salam al Yeah, when was the last revelation of the Quran? There's a dis disagreement and our scholars. Oh, there we go. See, this is do you thing. do you scholars know what, what was the this last revelation thing. of the Quran? What was the last verse that was revealed from the Quran? That I've uh, it's called Aliyah. Akmal tu lakum dina kum admantu alikum nigmati wa radhi tu lakum Islam dina. Chapter five of the Quran, yeah. right? It's the end. Yeah. Of the verse. So yeah, this is opinion of some scholars of Al Sunnah. Okay, let's take that verse. So that, what what now? After the Ghazir Khum event um, happened, uh, well, we believe that Prophet uh, Muhammad. No, Umar ibn Khattab said, uh, This is, you believe, I believe, it doesn't make a no, difference. Sorry. Umar ibn Khattab says, I know, what, I know. Everything you're saying is what Sunnis believe. Like, no, you're talking no, about like, no. what Islam says, but that's your interpretation of Islam. Sister, like, can you be honest with me? I'll ask your friend. Because I need honesty I'm there. I need some objectivity. Look, yeah, she, she's I'm your friend. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, no, no, I'll just ask a simple question. No, no, no. no. I'll ask a simple question. Just be honest. Did we, in the beginning of the discussion, were we talking about the Quran? Yes or no? That's the only thing I want. What are we discussing uh, the Quran? Yes. I will tell you this now. Yes, that's what we are so, so you don't t tell me that I was talking about Sunni beliefs. I was talking about the Quran. Oh my God. This is not going to go anywhere because you're very... Because uh, you're not sincere, yourself. sister. I'm very sincere. I ask Allah I'm, to give you sincerity. No, that's I'm, all, I'm all I can say. I'm very sincere. Okay. Like, Alhamdulillah, but that's fine. Khalas, may Allah guide you, sister. Yeah, but as I said, I believe I answered the question that you had for me. And if you have any more, you can come. You're welcome to come another time and ask them. Like, I don't have any problem answering any time. Uh, oh, that's all I take from this conversation. Okay, alhamdulillah. Yeah. May Allah guide you with us, inshallah. I mean, you too. عشيرتي جميعكم حتى ابنتي لا اغني عنكم فاعبدوا الهكم ووحدوا اذا اعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الاعجاب والتعليق ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الان